Alright, so let's look at how to make a ring like this with the corners cut off. Uh, part one. Part two will be how to make the same ring but with curved sides. Let's do this part first. File, new. So, Alright, so let's go to the front view. And let's make this a size 9. So let's open up the circle tool. Let's go from 0, enter. And the size 9 is 18.9 moles. And you're going to hold shift, left click. And then let's put the thickness of the ring at the bottom. So go to the line. Make sure your O snaps are turned on. Pick the 6 o'clock. Then in the command line, type in 2, enter, go down, hold shift, left click, right click. Repeat the command by hitting the space bar, go to the 9 o'clock, click, go to the top, let's put in 2.4, hold shift, left click, right click. Then let's go to the third of the arc tools. So start, end, and your direction is hold shift, pull all the way out to the left, and click. All right, now let's talk about how high the ring is, how thick the ring is off the fingers. Let's go to the line. Let's click at the 12 o'clock. In the command line, let's type in 3.5. Left click and right click. Now, you've got to work out the length of the top of the ring. So that is determined by the ring finger size. So let's go to the line tool starting from a midpoint. We're going to click there. We're going to make sure the smart track is turned on. And you can see that's where it would be if it was straight. I'm just going to hold shift and come in a little bit. So it's not exactly on the line, a little bit in and I'm going to left click. Now Let's go to curve, ex uh, extend curve by arc to point. Pick that, pick that, and right click. Now, this line has got a, a node in here. So let's just rebuild this line. So type in rebuild, the URL, rebuild. And let's stick with... Uh, point count was 5. Let's put in a point count of 10. And the maximum deviation is really small, so that's okay. And then let's mirror this to the opposite side. So transform, mirror, and this is across the y-axis. And now we can pick the outside lines. And we're going to join them. So go to the join tool. All right, so now we can select the inside the circle, the outside shape, and you're going to go to extrude. You're going to make sure both sides is yes, solid equals yes. And you just can to extrude it out really wide. Okay, and now from the side view, we're going to draw how wide we want our ring to actually be at the top. So we're just going to point. I'm clicking at the top corner there and I'm saying, okay, uh, let's make this, if the ring is 15, this is 7.5. Enter. And I'm just going to move it a fraction up so I can see it. Just a little bit up. All right, so now I need to draw a line from this point, And I look at the angle that I want my ring to have. So let's say that looks good about there. Okay, let's make sure that this curve is flat. So we're going to go uh, transform, project to C-plane. Yes. Okay, so this line we don't need anymore. We delete it. Take this line and let's... Mirror, transform, mirror around the y-axis. Let's take both these lines. 
let's go to the top view and just clicking on this little line here that says cut I'm going to drag it all the way out hold shift so it does both sides and let go so we don't need that or that we delete it all right so I need to duplicate this edge so we type in DUP duplicate edge I'm going to pick this edge all the way around enter and now I want to go to curve extend curve pick this curve and just extend it up a little bit do the same on the opposite side now let's go to the front view front view let's draw a line hold shift and what I want to do is I want to make sure this is trimmed so they both are the same height so let's go to uh, trim and let's pick that line and that enter all right we don't need this anymore all right so let's pipe this line so type in pipe PRP make sure that if it's set to radius make sure you pick in diameter and let's give this a test let's say we want this to be five there five there so I'm hit enter again and then I'm going to put one point in at the bottom here and let's say two enter and enter again so I'm looking at this thickness all the way around here and I can see that this is just a little bit out okay let's go to cage edit C A G E make sure it's cage edit let's pick the object that's going to go into the cage edit hit enter bounding box click bounding box enter enter and enter again so we're going to just Grab all these nodes that run through the center only. And I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit. So if you hold the Alt key, it's a, it allows you to snap a little bit easier. Okay, that looks good. Go OK. And now I've got a nice even shape around. So take this and delete it. Like this, I'm going to transform mirror across the x-axis, select the ring, boolean difference, enter, let's take this and let's put it on a different layer, change object layer and turn it off, and there we go. All right, so if you need a bigger cut here, just increase this five to six, and it can be a little bit larger. All right, hope you enjoyed that.